Hello, my name is John, and today we'll be reading American Psychological Association Has Made Choosing a Therapist Easy by Dennis Prager on Town Hall, January 22, 2019. The American Psychological Association has, in its words, issued its first ever guidelines for practice with men and boys. These guidelines draw on more than 40 years of research showing that traditional masculinity is psychologically harmful and that socializing boys to suppress their emotions causes damage. Three observations. Number one, the last thing American males need today is less masculinity. If you need proof, ask women who are looking for a husband whether the men they date exhibit too much masculinity, too little masculinity, or just the right amount. I have talked to hundreds of women on my radio show. Every week I have a male-female hour at speeches and in private who are dating to find a spouse. Not one has said men today are too masculine. Virtually all of them have said men today lack masculinity. And why wouldn't men lack masculinity? A vast number of boys grow up either with no father or with a, mo- with a father they rarely see. Their lives are dominated by women. Their mother, virtually all their teachers, probably their school principal, and probably their therapist. As if that were not bad enough, many of the single mothers of these American boys are angry at the man who never married them, or at the man who divorced them, or at men in general. In addition, these boys, women's teachers, suppress their natural testosterone-driven male behaviors, and now their teachers increasingly tell them they may not even be a boy. Of course, some men are bores, demanding sex on the first date, sending sex-filled messages, etc. But most men know boorishness is not masculinity. Such behaviors emanate not from masculinity, but from poor upbringing and or the sexual revolution, which taught men and women that the sex drives of men and women are the same. But as psychoanalyst Eric Commissar wrote in the Wall Street Journal last week, it is a recipe for mental illness to tell boys that aggression, competitiveness, and protectiveness is a sign of sickness. Number two, this is another example, the most important rule of contemporary life. The left ruins everything it touches. The left has ruined the arts, the universities, high schools, the nuclear family, mainstream Protestantism, Catholicism, and Judaism, the Boy Scouts, and journalism. And it is now doing the same to the sciences. Universities are increasingly choosing science faculty based on gender and race rather than on scientific expertise. Psychology and psychiatry have long been homes to left-wing fools. Recall the 1964 example of 1,189 psychiatrists declaring then-presidential candidate Senator Barry Goldwater psychologically unfit. But the AP statement will do even more harm. The American Psychological Association goes beyond defining traditional masculinity as on the whole harmful. It urges therapists to help men identify how they have been harmed by discrimination against those who are gender nonconforming. That's right. Your son's psychotherapist will explain to him how it's entirely normal for a boy his age, beginning in kindergarten, to wear a dress and that regarding an eight-year-old boy in a dress as not quite healthy is what is not quite healthy. 
In addition, the APA hopes this therapist will reassure your son that he too may well choose to be a girl. In the words of Komasar, this is an ideological claim transformed into a cl clinical treatment recommendation. That ideological claim is, of course, leftism. Number three, the APA statement makes choosing a psychotherapist simple. The hardest part of starting psychotherapy is figuring out how to choose a psycho psychotherapist. If you choose the wrong one, you will not only be wasting a great deal of time and money, you will not be helped, and you might well be harmed. So how does one go about choosing a psychotherapist? The APA just made the task much simpler. Just ask any therapist you are considering for yourself or someone else, do you agree with the American Psychological Association that traditional masculinity is psychologically harmful. If the therapist agrees, thank him or her for her, their time and leave. If the therapist starts giving a pro prolonged response, leave. Any therapist who cannot unequivocally condemn the APA statement is unworthy of your time and your money, let alone your psyche. Many will try to weasel out of it directly agreeing or disagreeing with the statement. They will tell you that sometimes masculinity is a problem, but they are just being careful not to lose you as a potential client. Such a statement is meaningless. There is nothing that cannot be harmful at times. That includes femininity as much as masculinity. It includes such normally good things as water. A lot of people drown after all. Without traditional masculinity, civilization is lost. Ask anyone you, you know who agrees with the using the term the greatest generation to describe the generation that fought World War II, whether the men of that generation would have fought, much less won, without traditional masculinity. Do not trust therapists who will not condemn the APA statement. They are either a fool or a coward. They may well be very kind and sincere, but that means nothing. You or your child will not be helped by kindness and sincerity. You or your child will only be helped by wisdom. This video is a production of the School of the White Crane. My name is John Brooker. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and share it on social media with your friends and families. May God richly bless you, my beloved.